Time now to check back in with meteorologist Jeremy Wheeler. And Jeremy, what's the latest on the track of Hurricane Michael? All right, well, it's less than 20 miles away from Panama City now. Uh, it looks like on the radar, maybe about 10 miles. And here's some of the wind gusts coming in with it so far, 55 miles an hour. And uh, I saw a report about 60. So, uh, you know, maybe these are a uh, difference of a minute and two minute observations. But either way, uh, it's coming in, and these winds are going to increase quite a bit over the next hour. And you can even see that some of the strong winds approaching Tallahassee, Pensacola, Valdosta, not as strong, but uh, around that center, the winds right now. 150 miles an hour, and so that type of wind is going to be coming on shore here pretty soon because it's right around the center and uh, moving north northeast at 14 miles an hour. It'll make landfall later on today, and then it'll move to the northeast. Big cold front's going to come in and push it off to the northeast towards our region. It will weaken down to a tropical storm by Thursday morning. It'll move in our direction. Now we say that weakened, but still going to have some strong winds with it, just not hurricane force most likely. And so here is late Thursday night, early Friday morning in our region and moving through rather quickly. By the time we get to Friday, this is 8 a.m. It's already a couple hundred miles offshore, so it's really going to be moving. And it'll turn more into a nor'easter type storm and then head off to the North Atlantic into the weekend. So right now we've got high pressure locally, but there's Michael and a big cold front's coming in. This is going to sweep in and it's literally going to push Michael off in our direction. Behind it, we're going to get a huge cool down too. Let's track all this. So today we've got isolated showers out there during the afternoon. We've already had a couple. We're going to see a couple more and overnight a few scattered showers. Now tomorrow during the morning, some scattered showers, not widespread rain, but the rain picks up a little bit later in the day and it picks up a lot as we go into the evening. So between three and six, heavy rain moves in. Six to eight o'clock, the heavy rain is here, at least for parts of the area, and then it's moving through late Thursday night into Friday morning. Now, Friday morning, this is 2 a.m. It looks like the rain's already starting to wrap up inland, and then it pushes out by 9 a.m., and the rest of the day we'll see sunshine. There's a couple models which are a little slower to dry us out, but uh, the latest official forecast has it moving away quick. Now, here's the winds. Thursday afternoon, we got southeast winds, maybe gust to 25 miles an hour, but Thursday night, this is when the strongest winds start coming in. This purple area, that's where the winds could be sustained, 20, 30, maybe up to 40 miles an hour. Some of the gusts could be up to 60 miles an hour. On the back side, we'll also get some very strong winds in here as the system moves away. This is 4 a.m., winds out of the northwest and in the purple area near the water. Again, some gusts maybe up to 60 miles an hour, but through the day, the winds decrease. They get a lot better. So here's the impacts, the possible impacts. Heavy rain and flooding, uh, about two to four inches of rain on average. Some areas maybe not so much, but there's a few locations that could get four to six inches. There's kind of a band that's trying to set up somewhere in the region, and the model's trending a little more north, but easily in our viewing area. We could see an area of about four to six inches. Winds 20 to 40 miles an hour sustained for a little while, gusts 40 to 60 miles an hour, and that could cause some power outages and some minor wind damage. This is way ahead of the storm. Remember, it's down towards Florida, so we've just got a lot of moisture in the region, and that's causing some isolated showers. A couple up towards Gloucester County, a couple in the metro. There's one right now, Virginia Beach. And so today, some isolated showers. Temperatures in the mid 80s for most. It is a warm, soupy day for October. Doesn't feel like October. Well, that's going to change as we go into the weekend. Behind this system, once we get into Friday afternoon, temperatures near 70, and then it's Saturday. No wind, temperatures in the upper 60s, and Sunday, 73 degrees. So we'll be talking more about that and the impacts of uh, Michael coming up. Wavy News 10 at 4 p.m. today.